Hi, I'm Patricia. I do videos on Twin Flame Ascension, the Twin Flame Journey. I help you with the integration of your brand new template of relationship and also Ascension symptoms, relationships, divorces, a lot goes with it. Today I wanna to talk to you about the Lion's Gate. I'm very excited because this is gonna be huge energy. Now I'm not the only one saying that this is something big happening, but I wanna tell you why, because people may not have specifics about this. So first of all, this Lion's Gate, this is like I keep saying in my videos, this is an ending. Why? Because you're bringing in essence of yourself from timelines that you probably don't even remember. They're lost in time and lost in space and sometimes lost in meaning. But the essence of you has to return to you. And that is what is also going to energize you. So let's get right into it here. So the Lion's Gate. This is your new chapter. Now, while a lot of people are saying, well, this can be a new chapter of your life, they don't know how. And there are some things that you have to get rid of that you may already be getting rid of in the time leading up to this. Some things are preparatory. In other words, they're there to prepare you. They're not there to test you, but how you do it is actually vitally important. So I'm gonna explain that. So the first thing we wanna talk about is, yes, this is about personal transformation because if you don't change, then nothing changes. The more people that change and transform, not just themselves, but through the integration of the light body, you have completely different reactions, behaviors, things that you skirt away from, things that you totally avoid because your higher self is helping you avoid those people, those places, those things, it makes you successful. It makes you entrepreneurial. It makes you spirited. That is what you're integrating. These parts of your essence that are an inherent part of you that belong to you. Where have you lost yourself in a relationship? Do you know how many people compromise themselves in a relationship, in a marriage, and you wind up losing yourself? Transformation isn't just about going to the gym. Transformation is being able to self-contain, to be well, to have modified yourself so that you are balanced, so that you're balancing your masculine reactions and your feminine reactions. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna go, you know, with fists to everything? There is a lot of personal animosity coming up to get to. So this works fastest with a twin flame ring connection. That is an energetic connection. That is my specialty. That is how I help people through the integration of those vital parts of you that want to naturally help you because it, it can be you, your own connection, your own higher essence that you're up leveling into. Now, this Alliance gate is also a gateway in a portal. I want to tell you why. This is has a very similar effect on people to several harmonic convergences. And this is a big one because it's time for things to tumble down that have been shaky for a long time and really get to the nitty gritty of rolling up our sleeves, getting proper actions and doing something about it. It's gonna finish some of the things that the pandemic started, frankly. When have there been a harmonic convergence? Well, anyone remember the flower children of the 1960s, 1969 to 70, starting in 1968. I remember some of it as a child driving around with my dad and saying, dad, there's a hippie. Look, there's a hippie because they had long hair and they were wearing flowers and their clothing was different and they were not conservative. They were promoting something else. Why? Because they felt it. Now there was a lot of free love that turned out it wasn't so free because people, that didn't mean people got rid of their karma. They got into karmic relationships, marriages, kids born under the influence of drugs. That stuff was a little different, maybe not as intense at that time, but it still happened. So you had another harmonic convergence. This one I feel that I recall distinctly. I didn't even know what it was called. I didn't even know there was a thing until years later when I actually read about it and I was like, wow, I remember that like a wave went through. This is what the wave felt like. It felt like 
I didn't want to gossip. I worked at a place where a lot of people stood around gossiping and not getting work done. A lot of people were snarky to people. They'd be nice to their face and then talk behind their back. And they just thought this was normal. And something in me just could not do this. And it turned out I was a victim of some of that snarkiness too. And I had to cultivate each person one-on-one -on -one instead of thinking of it as a mob against me. That harmonic convergence in 1987 and 89 actually was intended and it still is intended for people to find ways to get along. The energy and the desire of loving and being compassionate and kind. I mean, what is happening to common human decency? Even in the comment section, sometimes they have people where I'm like, are you okay? Because why did you write that? I have no idea. And it's really time to ramp this up. People are still going to be spilling out and vomiting their stuff. I don't want it vomited on my shoes. I'm like, no, thank you. But we can get along and how can I help? Okay. That's what that desire has been instilled in the heart during that harmonic convergence. You got a problem? You okay? Or how can we do this? The year 2000, we had another one. So we have another one coming up here, 2023, which is intended to bring much higher love to the people that you feel like you're withering on the vine. You feel like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I have another year in me, five years in me, 10 years in me. Good news, you won't have to. Okay, you're going to do this by focusing on you and you doing you and you doing a twin flame reconnection with me because that is my specialty that I can do this in an expedited manner for you. Now, this has a lot to do with the personal ways you handle yourself with other people. Now, we're not always on our best behavior every day. Sometimes we have a mood. Sometimes your mood goes over to your twin flame. Sometimes your twin flame's mood goes over to you. And I caught on to that because I was like, why am I feeling in a mood? Yeah, I'm a female. I could have some hormones. But yeah, once you get past a certain point in your ascension, you're not as up, down, up, down every month because I worked on that and I developed that prototyping too. So how does this work? Like, how do you handle yourself with other people? Some people are just so reactionary. They react right away. Someone jump scares them, they hit them, right? We've seen this. We've seen it on pranks. We've seen it on video. We see it in families. Everyone thinks it's so funny, right? Except people are getting hurt. We see people that are expressing a lot of animosity. And frankly, animosity means they're kind of acting a little bit like animals. Like, okay, I think sometimes even animals are better they do push us back though. They push us back. Some people are pushing back. Some people are just angry from the get-go. They're just, they're going to tromp around and let you know that they are displeased and they're not having any of it and they don't want to get along and they're okay being isolated and they're okay being socially distanced. Except guess what? This, the harmonic convergence is intended to help soften that up a bit. Help them start feeling themselves again. Start feeling missing of people, missing love, missing real connections. Not just connections with people that they want to harm and then create another blood bond, right? That's not necessary. So what do you have to do to have these things change? Because like they say, if nothing changes, then nothing will change. You need a plan. I have that plan. You need dedication and you need to be devoted and you have to make it part of your routine. In other words, where this setting yourself up daily for success is a part of your routine every single day, day in and day out. Maybe one day you sleep late, okay? Some days you'll need that. You'll just need to have a me day where you don't do anything and you are just doing some self-care. That's a good thing. But... Basically, you need a routine that will set up your success on a daily basis. So how do we do this? We want to flip your energy. How do you take animosity 
domestic violence or your desire to slap people, smack them, uh, hit them with your car, you know. And I have some personal examples of this I'm going to get to. Your temper. Do you know you have a bad temper? Are there people in your family who have bad tempers and you get angry? Did you grow up with domestic violence where you were punished and things like that? This energy wants to address that and address it properly. Are you hell-bent on destructive? Do you have destructive motives in you? In other words, you self-sabotage. Do you like, you know, get envious and you want to like mess people up or trip them up or make them look bad and you're going, oh my God, how do I, how do I reconcile this with myself? I don't feel okay, but like I feel it's justified. There are a lot of people who justify very bad behavior because they had a reason, but their reason was in the moment. And these are patterns of behavior that are coming up to be fixed, corrected, improved. Bad behavior. How do you transform it into inspiration, goals, and action? So one of the personal examples I have is with the baby daddy. How many people have baby daddies? How many people have exes or ex-baby daddies or something? Or baby mamas or something like that. So. My son was going to go to college and I had asked for some help with some of the financial things. And I really made it easy because English is his second language. And I just said, we need this and this and this. And they requ the college requested a corrected form because I filled it out on his behalf. He did nothing. He didn't lift a finger, although he agreed to it. His agreement was sufficient for me. I did everything. But I guess I did something and they just wanted a correction form. Well, somehow this became a cause to gear. It was a cause to go to war. And he raised holy hell about how he was never going to sign anything ever again. Don't expect it. This, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, it's one freaking piece of paper to verify who lives in your household, sir. It's not, you know, but I was incensed. I was like, hey, I... And maybe a lot of you do this. Do you start having fantasies where you're like, I could go and, uh, you know, get this guy. I could report him. I could tell the college he was dead. None of those are right, though. And I said, why is this happening right now? Well, he had his reason. And his reason really was fear. His reason of fear was he didn't want to be too involved. He didn't want to be connected. He didn't want to be found out. He didn't want to lift a finger. For 18 years, he hasn't wanted to make a connection. It's fine with me because I know the path I'm on and I know he's not it. But I hurt for my son who's had to live with this and the excuses and the non-existent reasons. So when he came, he was like this. He was, he had his full armor on. He even had a mask. You know, we were at the tail end of the pandemic and he brought back something that I had lent him. He brought back one of my cookbooks that he had wanted to, you know, not really plagiarize it, but to use it as something. Okay. That's the last time I'm going to sign anything for you. Well, they may ask for something else. And what about next year? No, don't ever contact me again. Yes, but you already contributed your sperm. You're the father. You actually have to bear some responsibility here. No, I'm out. I don't ever want to contact. Here's your book back. Now, reading between the lines, what I sensed was, and this is important, can you sense when some what someone really wants is to do drama with you? Why? Because that tension is their fuel. That's what they're feeding off of. How do we turn the guy with all the armor on to the guy with like, he's got no armor, he's got, he's cooperative, he's amenable, he may not be the best person, best dad, you know, doing all the things, but he's not opposing you. How do we do that? These are some of the personal transformations. How did I bring myself from, you know, uh, having these weird revenge fantasies, like how dare he and how this and that. And the very first thing was I had to calm myself down and realize that 
my own bad behavior couldn't match him. And I said, how am I going to ever teach this if I can't personally do it? And we sat there and we talked a little bit. And by the end, I could feel his tension leaving. I was the best diplomat you ever saw. But I don't want to have to be a diplomat. It would be lovely if it went from being diplomatic to being a true connection for the child that he created. Now, this is something that I've learned with people, that when people, they don't even have to be in an extreme circumstance, but they've had so many times where they're in trouble, they're in trouble, they're in trouble. And when there's, it's not a matter of having consequences, they expect the consequences and they don't care. They've lost the point of caring because now they are the victim. The whole world is out to get them. The whole world is betraying them. The whole world is just not a place that they enjoy. It's not free for them. And you know what? They're trapped by their own things. They're trapped by their base things that have to do with violence, temper, destruction, bad behavior. That's why karma keeps happening. It sits there. I refuse. I refuse to live in that karma. So I accepted the book back and I was like, all I said was, oh, I hope it helped you. Did you like it? And he was like, oh, I don't need it anymore. Did you like that book? Thanks for giving the book back. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? Did it help you? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I don't need it anymore. Well, he was already feeling bad for the drama he tried to create, but I wasn't about to call him on it. Do you have the fortitude to sit there with your opponent or the people who want to get at you or the people at work or the people who don't want to like sell you that house or the people that they're in a church, even a worse one, and they're bad-mouthing you all over town. Like, how do people do these things in the name of God? This is terrible stuff. This is a part of what this is trying to do. How does someone go on a date? All they're looking for love and they wind up being brutalized. That happened to a friend of mine. And she has permanent injury to the vertebrae in her neck because he tried to choke her to death. This is not... Um, this is not fluffy stuff, people. This is not something that some people can just meditate away. This is, you know, when we have angers, you have to understand something. Yes, I had the divorce. Yes, I grew up with domestic violence. Yes, we grew up with addictive behaviors in the family. And frankly, from what I've seen, that's a lot of families that have that. There is nobody really that is pristine and pure because it's in the ancestry Take a look at your ancestors. What did they endure? There's plenty of info on the internet. What did they have to endure for you to be here at this point? Well, you still carry some of that. We're here to transform that and flip it. Flip it. You're seeing changes. You're seeing changes in Europe. They have huge VAT tax. I want to see how much goes of that tax money goes to repair all the wildfire stuff. If people need to buy my material from Europe, they're paying huge VAT tax. Talk to me first. We'll work something out. But the main thing I want to tell you is, is that even when governments step in to do things, things have to happen at a personal level. The police can try to keep domestic violence people apart. They've got mechanisms. It doesn't work. I know people, I know of people who have been on this love journey, who've been goaded into chasing someone down until they've gotten in trouble with it. You don't have to. We work with your twin flame body and twin flame reconnection to get you connected properly so that you're living at a level up here. So if you want this lion's gate to be working for you, join us, join us. The links are below, the description is below. We do sessions, books, readings, and coaching for your journey. Thanks so much. I hope to see you there. Bye now.